This is not a long comic, but there are some really cool ass moments in this. SCM Nation, I need you to buckle up. My name is Dorian, this is SCM Comics, and we are covering the complete Superman Batman World Finest series. Today, we're doing Superman Batman number eight. And it starts off in Gotham, and Superman is on the comm leak, bugging the hell out of Batman. He's like, Batman, and Batman's like, no Clark. Superman's like, you don't even know what I was going to say. <laughs> Batman's like, yes, I do. And the answer is still no. And then Superman's like, well, what can I do? And Batman's like, you're already doing it. Now, if you're brand new to the channel and you really don't know what's going on, I'm going to give you a really quick breakdown of how we got to this point. For those of you guys that's been rocking with me, just kind of bear with me for a second. So in the last arc, there was this huge kryptonite asteroid that was headed towards Earth. Superman and Batman had this boy design them something that they can go up into space and take care of the asteroid with. He made this huge Superman Batman Gundam. They were supposed to go up there and take care of it, but what wound up happening is Captain Adam actually went up in the ship and he took care of the asteroid and he also sacrificed himself. But something that big doesn't just destroy and disintegrate, no. It breaks into pieces and those pieces are raining down on Earth and like I said before, is kryptonite so this is why superman is in the watchtower because right now being on earth can be fatal to him but superman isn't used to being in this position see when things get tough what do they do they call superman right now he can't do anything and it's really getting to him and batman has to constantly remind him that superman agreed to give this two weeks to let the Justice League, the Justice Society, the Titans, the Outlaws, they're all working and they're all working overtime to gather up as much kryptonite as they can and Superman agreed to give them two weeks to do that. And Batman has to remind them it's only been 10 days. The last time I checked, two weeks is 14 days. So the Batman goes, why don't you just go play with your dog? And then Superman's like, why is it every time you get pissed off, you always got to bring up the dog? Why do you got to bring up the dog? <laughs> and then Batman goes, because I just don't understand the sum total of your species is you, some glowing rocks, and this four-legged creature. But he wasn't stopping. And like He literally was going, this four-legged cat barbecuing. Nah, we ain't skipping over that. Crypto really be out here barbecuing cats. Dwayne The Rock Johnson just be out here fricasseeing kitties. I gotta see this comic. There's, there's no way. <laughs> Crypto be out here just taking cats out with his heat vision. I gotta read this. I gotta read it. SEM Nation, if you guys know what issue this is, please let me know in the comments. So what made him stop talking mess about Crypto is that he's at the bottom of Gotham Harbor. He's picking up kryptonite rocks and he run across the ship. So as he's getting onto the ship, there's this blind headed woman that's getting into the bat boat. Batman starts to examine the ship and he sees that there's raid on there and he recognizes it as being Kryptonian. And as soon as he's trying to decipher it, he realizes that his bat boat just took off on him. So Batman being Batman, he shoots his harpoon that latches onto the bat boat, but then he gets drugged through the water and then the boat winds up crashing into the dock and then you got this really cool look of batman and he's just standing there and he's looking all menacing in his bat diving suit and he's sitting there wondering who in the hell just crashed his boat so now we got this blind chick who's naked as hell walking through gotham speaking kryptonian and obviously she walks up on these dudes butt naked i mean you you know what they're gonna be about but then <laughs> she grabs this one dude and just crushes his fingers. So then his boy tries to come to his defense and she hits him with a stiff arm that Derrick Henry would be envious of. Now the brother of the group, he's seen enough. He's like, here, take my jacket, just leave me alone. So then Batman comes by two seconds later and is like, tell me what you saw. So now at least she has a trench coat on and she's running through the streets and all of a sudden this car comes out of nowhere, crashes into her and of course, you know, it just folds around her and she doesn't even move. Her heat vision kicks in and she takes out a traffic light. The Gotham police show up. She has no control of her heat vision. She takes out a cop car. So, you know, they just start blasting at her. And at the same time, now she's starting to float in the air. 
So she floats up to this rooftop and Batman's just waiting on her and he goes, enough. So she has no control over her power. So she just keeps floating until she floats into this Gotham City Police dirigible, which she floats right through it. So now it explodes and now it's starting to come down. And Batman's like, Superman. <laughs> and Superman's like, I am not on the comm links. So Batman's like, I got a job for you. And before Batman can give him the location, Superman is down and catching the dirigible and pretty much pushing it out so that it doesn't land in the city and he can land it somewhere safe and also save the people that are in it. So while Superman was dealing with that, Batman catches up to Kara because we all know this is Supergirl and she's in this greenhouse and she's still speaking Kryptonian. And then Batman walks up on her and he's like, I wish I knew what you were saying. This might make what I'm about to do a little bit more easier. And then obviously he has some kryptonite in his hand. So then Batman has her back in the back cave and he's examining her. And all of a sudden she wakes up, breaks through the table. And you can tell she is pissed and her eyes are going red and she's about to take Batman out but Batman's not even turn around he's not even batting an eyelash why because Superman grabs her leg brings her down they start speaking Kryptonian with each other you know like a long extensive conversation and then Batman's like what's she saying what's going on and then Superman wraps his cape around her and is like this is my cousin Kara zor -El. so the Superman says to himself I'm not alone and then Batman's thinking to himself, who or what are we dealing with? Back to this whole crypto be fricasseeing kitties thing. Here's one cat that I know he can't fricassee, and that's Dexstar. If you want to know more about Dexstar, let me know in the comments.